No, I found it. That's unfortunate. The whole thing is now in pieces. Batteries out of it. What's going on guys? Tyler, AKA Snap Oversteer MR2. Today, we're in the same location as the last video, but obviously we're doing a different video. Last time I kind of covered the process of um, going through TCS for a Gen 5 slash Gen 4 swap 3S GTE for your MR2. And uh, if you missed that video, go back to watch that one first and then come back and watch this one. Um, like I said, we're in the same location. I rolled that little cinematic there. I thought I'd do it again because last time when I came up here and did the video, the car was filthy. The thing had mold on the trunk. It was just, paint was messed up everywhere. Not only did I clean the car up, I went and clay barred it, waxed it, put some tire shine away on there, cleaned up the wheels and tires. Uh, so not only is the car clean, but I am clean as well. I got a haircut and I feel like it looks pretty good. <laughs> so without further ado, we are going to take this car out for a review of how it drives. It does still need brakes, uh, coilovers, a couple other small things. I went down and I ordered the brakes today and actually I also need to get tires because one of them on here is from 2013 so we really don't want to be pressing our luck. Knock on wood, right, that the car will hold up during this drive. I have a bunch of cameras and microphones and whatnot in the car. I'm gonna go around the outside real quick here, um, place them around the vehicle and whatnot so this is actually a little bit entertaining and you're not just looking at my face the entire time we drive because I feel like that's boring. Without further ado, let's get the ball rolling and I uh, hope you're ready. All right, so we got the cameras mounted up, got the other ones rolling. Gonna get that one right there rolling. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's get this review on the road. So let's start her up. Let it warm up a little bit. With these cars, you really want to make sure they're fully warmed up before you start going with the 3S GTE. So I'm really adamant on that in the mornings whenever I plan on driving this car. I really make sure that I let it get up to right at half before I start driving it. So let's just let this uh, finish warming up real quick. All right. Now that we are warmed up, we will go for a ride. I do wish that I had everything I do now um, when I very first got the car back. That way I could give you guys a, genu a genuine reaction uh, of myself in, in the car. Don't really know what I was trying to say there. All right, here we go. Hopefully that camera on the outside stays on. Camera's on the back. Fingers crossed. All these shifts I'm doing are below four grand. Let's see if this camera's still on out here. And we lost the camera. Great. Let's go back and find it. Good thing this car has an amazing turn radius. So you can turn around pretty much. Oh no, I found it. That's unfortunate. The whole thing is now in pieces. Batteries out of it. The SD card is in there. Let's see if I can find the mount. Well, the whole suction cup mount failed. Jeez. You can see we're back. Oh, headlights are on. Let's pop them poppy boys down. Nice. So you can see we're back up in our original start location. A little bit of explaining. So I didn't really have three cameras. You caught me, I lied to you. Uh, I like to edit and I thought with a little bit of movie magic, I would be able to make it look like I placed the camera there, there, and on the other side, and then do the same route that I planned on doing three different times and then put it all together, cutting it at the right spots to where it would look like one take, making sure no cars were behind me. So when I jumped to a different view, you wouldn't be like, oh, there was a car there and that one's gone. So what happened was, I only made it maybe about a mile or so outside of this turn. I was talking, the audio was really bad. If you want to get a listen to it, I'll play a clip. So, I understand, I understand this isn't a brand new engine. 
the camera was destroyed. The SD card was still in it. I'm hoping that's saved to where I can at least capture its final moments. Tyler from the future is corrupted, so that is lost. My apologies. So, I guess for right now, we will do <laughs> our little review here. This car and the way it drives, it drives amazing, okay? The only issue that I'm having right now, within the trans, I have to go on the forms and whatnot. I'm going to shift. Sometimes I don't even have to use the clutch. I can just pop it back into neutral pretty easy. So far, I haven't had any problems. It's running exactly how it should. It doesn't overheat, doesn't leak anything. I did read that Reddit review somebody made about TCS a long time ago saying that it, I think at like 250 miles, they had a little bit of a leak somewhere. But this one right now is running amazing. So no complaints there. I guess I could play a couple clips, but this car right now is doing amazing. Look how good the paint job looks right now. Let me turn it on for you guys real quick. There we go. Shout out to Ty and Christian over there. I know my last video might have came off a little bit harsh, like I was knocking them too much, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean? The car's here, I got what I paid for. You now, you live and you learn. Give you guys a little bit of a rev. I know that you won't be able to hear what it sounds like back there, but here's some in the car stuff. Coming from the from the NG boy, some of the rubber from the tires. I'll come grab you guys, bring you over. This spot has been here for 12 years with nothing here. Some guys came up and told me earlier. As much as I would really like to give you guys the review I wanted to and planned on, that is going to have to wait right now. Um, just a quick general overview, though. I guess this thing runs pretty awesome. Do not do what I did right there, especially with tires and whatnot that are this old. But because they're this old, I don't really give a shit. You can see they're really sticky though. That warmed them up pretty nice. And I like my jet Ferrari <laughs> plate I did there. That's gonna conclude it for today, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna put this together kind of quick because I would like, at least like to give you guys a video a week. Hit that like button, subscribe, get the bell, get the notifications and all that. Until next time guys, Tyler, AKA Snap Oversteer, peace. No, but I wasn't